What is a widow seal? The network was established in 1980 with 12 member states. The purpose was to exchange information. Today, the network covers 41 education systems and produces comparative analysis of direct relevance to the education policy. Well, Europe is one of the most diverse uh, uh, regions in the world, so this diversity also reflects in the education area as well. So. Governments and other decision makers have a constant need of updated and relevant information on other countries' education systems. Eurydice, to me, is the, the major player that can provide information and in a wide range of formats, to, from small fact sheets to, to heavy reports and uh, modern databases. It provides you with a knowledge and understanding of different educational solutions in different countries. And it also allows national authorities to learn from the examples of other countries. It's, it's just such a unique resource. It's so broad and so comprehensive. And if you want to see the whole landscape mapped out for you, there it is. But if you want to dig down a little deeper, the details are all there behind it to back it up. What does a little do? Basically, we compare education systems and policies. We have a wealth of reports that uh, cover different topics in uh, school education, higher education or adult education, but also language learning, citizenship education. Every year, for example, we um, publish a report on teacher salaries um, and uh, fees paid by students in higher education. All our reports are available for free on our website or on the EU bookshop. And for those that want to follow our activities, we're also present on social media. Its uh, products bring together uh, quantitative data with qualitative information on national education systems. Uh, for me, the biggest achievement of Eurydice so far uh, is the description of a country education systems because uh, these descriptions provide all the users with uh, helpful information that are accurate, that are um, uh, regularly updated and uh, comparable. Whenever uh, education data are um, looked for or um, discussed, Eurydice is one of the sources that always mentioned. Eurydice has managed to encapsulate uh, the very essence of the European Union where a lot of people from different countries, from different backgrounds, from different uh, realities get together to share good practices. Particularly in higher education, our work has a, has a reach which goes beyond Europe. It goes beyond, beyond the European Union because other regions want to see what's happening in Europe. So I think we have a readership and we have a potential public which is global.